So today I'm going to teach you how to make a significant amount of money by running a white label virtual assistant service. So let's start off at the beginning. Basically what a white label virtual assistant service is, is it's going to consist of you being a virtual assistant and then expanding into a team. And you're going to be able to make money on every single team member that you get lined up. It's a simple process in order to get this set up. If you're looking for a work at home job opportunity where you can actually make some real money without having to be like really technical. I mean, you don't even have to be a college graduate in order to do this. It's not very hard. So first thing on board, get a job. We can either do this, you know, Craigslist, any of the other job boards that are out there, go apply for the job yourself and ideally it should be something that they're hiring for a remote position or it's something that could be done as a remote position if you go and apply for something that's you know under your pay grade a lot of times you can convince the hiring manager to give you a little bit of leniency in terms of showing up to the office or not it needs to be a remote position for this to work once you get hired for the job be transparent with them, tell them that you have a whole team of people and generally they're not going to really care if it's, if it's you that does it or if you have someone else that does it. As long as it gets done and if they have an issue they can call you and don't have to you know, try and figure out who you've delegated this to. As long as you take responsibility for the work, normally there's no problem here. So step one is onboard the client. When you onboard the client, that's something that you should do yourself. Do the tasks, give it two weeks month, however long it takes so you can become a master of those tasks and you know exactly what the client needs in order to be happy and you've created a happy client. Once you get it to that point, then you move to phase two, delegation. At this point in time, you can start training one of the team members here in our office that works here but you can interact with remotely on Skype or whatever is the best um, form of communication for you. And you can get them up to speed on the processes that you got from the client. As soon as we've been able to successfully train them, then you're past the delegation process, you're on to the collecting process. That's it. So basically from there, you're able to collect the money from the client, at which point you're going to send some of that over to us to pay for the assistant that you have actually doing the work or at least a high percentage of the work and then you can move on to onboard another account you can keep going through this as many times as you want um, basically as many clients as you can handle if you're doing tasks that are fairly easy you can do it a lot um, you can get you know quite a few different people that are on here so let's just look at how the numbers break down because it gets pretty ridiculous so just to make nice clean numbers, let's say that the position that you got is a $20 an hour office um, administrative assistant sort of position, $20 an hour. You're paying us roughly $10 an hour. So for every hour that you're able to bill at $20 an hour, you're netting yourself $10. So you have eight billable hours in a day. At this rate, you make $80. Okay? So let's ramp that up a little bit. Let's say now that you've been able to successfully do this process 10 times over. 10 times. So that makes our math really easy. You're billing $200. You're paying us $100 and you're netting yourself $100 per hour. At this point, once you've gotten to, to where you're in the collection phase, it's remote work, so you shouldn't really necessarily have to be on the premise of any of your clients, and um, you shouldn't really have to really hold the hand of any of the assistants that you have that are able to do this. Even if we were looking for $15 an hour jobs, you're still making $50 an hour. Basically, you know, you've pretty much written yourself out of the whole process. You could be doing that from the beach. You could be doing that from your sleep. 
Okay, so it's a pretty viable business model. If you're looking for a work at home opportunity, it's definitely a good thing to do. You, you need to make sure that in order to make this work for you, you choose a scaling partner, you're getting your assistance from a place where you have reliable assistance. You're gonna be tempted to try and cut down this margin even more. If you go for a freelancer or something like that, you can definitely get a little bit lower of a cost. But in the long run, I don't think that you're gonna find that it's worth it. Because when you're typically dealing with a freelancer, they're also working from home. If you're working with a freelancer that's in an international location, they might not have very good infrastructure where they're at. They might not you know, have the same kind of high speed um, connections that we have in our office and they might be working on equipment that's pretty dated. If you work with people in our office here, we have extremely fast internet connectivity. Every one of our stations is a two screen station. We have an IT guy on site that makes sure that they don't have malware and viruses and all sorts of things that are slowing, slowing the process down. Also, we have on-site manager here, and there's never gonna be a time when one of your assistants is moonlighting for multiple clients at once. That's something you really gotta be careful of. If you try and go too cheap, you get what you pay for a lot of the time. So if you use us to help grow your virtual assistant company, use us to be able to get your white label VAs, you can make a significant amount of money and set yourself up with a money machine an excellent work from home sort of solution that you don't really have to have a huge amount of training, you don't have to have a huge amount of education to be able to do. Because basically, if you can get hired for these kind of lower end jobs in scale, there's a lot of money there. So definitely a good opportunity. Just wanted to share with you how that works. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me. Thank you so much.